writes the words and music. Fort Vivian Queen of Camp, Charles Pierce was an internationally famous female impersonator, most renowned for his characterizations of the stars of Hollywood's golden era, including Joan Crawford, Mae West, and most famously Bette Davis. I'll never forget my films, and I will never let you forget my films. Pierce's love for dressing up and performing started at a young age. I would go up into my grandmother's attic and rummage through all of her old clothes. His early career began in the 1950s with performances in small gay clubs, dressing in male clothes. In 1954, I began as an impressionist. In other words, I worked in a tuxedo. In some places, you could still be arrested for performing as a female impersonator. Charles Pierce is a great artist who fought many of the battles that, that I um, reap the benefits from. Over time, his costumes became more elaborate, introducing wigs, a range of fabulous dresses and other props, as he extended his repertoire. And do you realize I've had about 10,000 dresses on this poor, tired old frame? Yes, his tall, shapely figure and sparkling blue eyes combined to create his allure. Your over-the-hill valley girl is here. <laughs> Pierce opened a show at the Gilded Cage in San Francisco in 1963 and quickly became known by the Hollywood stars that frequented it. Later, Turing took his sharp, witty monologues to audiences across the US, to New York, and on to sell out performances in London. I, I had a one-man show at the Fortune Theatre and went back two years later and did cabaret. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Pierce appeared in a number of television series, usually in cross-dressing roles. Ladies, may I take your order? Pierce appeared alongside Harvey Fairstein and Anne Bancroft as cabaret performer Birth of a Nation in the 1988 film production of Torch Song Trilogy. Ladies and gentlemen, wait till you see my act, the dance of the Virgin, which she does completely from memory. In 1994, following his official retirement, Pierce performed for one final time in Charles Bush's Dressing Up at the Town Hall in New York receiving an outpouring of respect and affection from the audience young and old. Do any fucking thing you want! Whilst he preferred to describe himself as a male actress rather than a drag queen, Pierce featured in the 1997 documentary Drag Time, alongside famous drag stars of the time, Lip Sinker and Lady Bunny, and fellow male actress, actor-singer Charles Bush. In 2002, Pierce's life became the subject of a book titled From Drags to Riches, The Untold Story of Charles Pierce, which chronicles his rise to fame and provides an expose of his life. Sex is like bridge. If you don't have a good partner, you better have a good hand. Well, that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch our daily bulletins throughout the week at Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.